Well, we're still working on track cleanup out here. The little D5 over there, she does a good job, but she's got a bunch of hours. Tracks are worn out. It seemed like it was going to take weeks to get this job done, so we called in the Calvary here. Had to ask a little favor, and we got ourselves a freaking dozer. <laughs> Look at that thing. Holy moly. Holy moly, Joey, that's a big dozer. It's a shame that's here to bulldoze the track and not make it even bigger, but it is badass nonetheless. It's gonna be cool regardless. <laughs> yeah. Might as well make the best out of right. it. Holy <laughs> crap. Dozer, Matt. <laughs> Holy crap. That's a, that's a come up to, huh? That is a beast. That is a beast. Wow, it's so smooth, too. Listen to that thing. I don't, I don't think any of us understand how cool this dozer is going to be yet. Uh, the level of technology in these things is nuts. The guy's going to come out and run it, you know, run through it with us tomorrow, but. Oh, okay. Shooey. That is a it somehow yeah. looks bigger now that it's on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> little test cut with this sucker. See if she's got some pushing power. Huh. That is wild. Oh, man. Just right up over the top of it, eh? Just like that. <laughs> you don't say. Well, yeah, I mean, I hate to destroy this track, but at least we're going to have fun doing it. Is there a bulldozer channel? I'm kind of thinking so. I'm kind of thinking so. All right, it's the next morning out here. We got our big dozer, and it's an unfortunate thing. We're, you know, really going hard at tearing down the track today, but got a little kicker first and foremost our boys from AIS equipment coming in clutch helping us out with this deal I started pushing around dirt with a little dozer knew it was gonna take a long time it was gonna be tough so called in a favor and we got ourselves this giant Komatsu these guys sell these things they rent these things we'll put their link in the description uh, basically told them the situation the trouble we're you know we were in a little bit here and they're out to help the best thing about this is this is one of these new intelligent dozers completely gps driven and what this is going to allow us to do is create a complete topographical map of this track so we can save this track we can actually take this exact track and recreate it anywhere we want with the data we're going to get from this thing that just blows my mind it's it's gonna be awesome yeah apparently we're gonna get a map that we can load up on a computer look at the track manipulate the track change the jumps if we want and then when we go to the next location just rebuild it either exactly how it is or with some little tweaks so you know sad deal tearing it down but we're saving it so let's walk over this guy's starting to lay this out right now I'll show you guys how we're gonna do this then we'll get the dozing all right well first piece of the puzzle here what does that do? Control point. So this is just a reference point that we buried in the ground and gives you a point to work from in the future for where to put the track. So right now we have this control point set up. We have a GPS base station over there up on the hill. And then our friend is walking the edge of the track right now, grabbing GPS coordinate points in reference to this location creating a polyline of the outline of the track so we'll know the exact route of the track in great detail in great precision and then once he's done with that he's essentially going to drive the dozer around and measure the contour of the track to build the map out like this is so it just creates a 3d model it basically liter they're literally creating a 3d model of the track so then when you go to another location based on this reference point you plop it in the ground and the dozer will just put the track right there exactly how it was if you have the dirt of course right that's so, super wild super awesome so it'll take him a little bit as he walks the track and grabs all these points and uh yeah then we'll get on the dozer drive the track finish building that model out 
and then unfortunately tell the dozer that yeah we want to knock this down and make it flat but we'll have the track saved at that point technology here is incredible i had no idea honestly i feel like we're one step closer to like what was that movie that stephen king movie uh with acdc all the semi trucks came alive oh maximum overdrive yeah like we're best. so close to that <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> that was an awesome movie though if you guys haven't seen maximum overdrive that's classic <laughs> i mean anything with like acdc did the entire soundtrack for that movie so <laughs> you can't go wrong no it's worth wrong. it for that but yeah let's right. get in this dozer then yeah i'm ready all right so this is getting cool already so you just took 200 points of the track right and that's built correct. our poly line so there's the outline of the existing track in great detail we got her saved boys almost almost we just need the the height the bumps the, the jumps contours. so what's what's next after this step so now we're going to transfer this job into the bulldozer and then we're going to drive the track and that's essentially going to map out everything that's on the track existing heck yeah this is badass yeah all right it's just crazy that it'll rebuild it too yep somewhere else cool stuff well, let's see this <laughs> sucker move all right we're excited sounds menacing just the tracks i know that's what i thought when i first saw it moving not quite enough speed yeah he didn't quite clear it <laughs> it's got to get some air under those tracks you know yeah. <laughs> like that video of the uh what was that like a supercross track where they jumped a front end loader? I haven't Have seen, seen that, that video. No. Dude, that was crazy. I've just seen that Photoshop picture of a dozer going off a jump. Oh yeah, that one too. <laughs> Brother, let me tell you, <laughs> this is one of the coolest things ever. Like I've done nothing yet, but drive this around. But the raw size and power and the technology in this thing, it's incredible. You have to drive this, man. You're gonna love it. All right, I might try it out. You're gonna absolutely love it. It's <laughs> way too freaking cool. All right, first cut's coming up here. Oh boy. It's a sad sight, but... You know, we'll just take it with us in a day. drive a bulldozer before? Never driven a bulldozer. My uh, operating experience is about 15 minutes in a skid steer that had the little T-handle and the foot controls. So, uh, <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll see about this, I guess. Well, no big deal. It's not like if you, you know, ruin this one, it will bankrupt us forever. So no pressure. <laughs> it's not like it could really damage anything if I get out of control. So, right, you know. right. It's just a yep. fifty thousand dollar or fifty thousand pound bulldozer. Yeah. All right, so bro. It's really actually no big deal. You got this. All right. Oh. Well, you know, just moving some dirt. This thing's actually super easy to run. So you click it into auto, and it'll run whatever grade the mapping tells it to, but then if you're in auto and you know what you're doing and you want to pull it back a little, you can pull it back and it'll just hold basically wherever you tell it to hold back to. And then when you want to hit full auto, you just push it down again. It's actually super easy to run. Well done, my man. Well done. Anything else need to be leveled around here? Or what? <laughs> Looking like a pro out there, honestly. Those are some nice cuts. This thing is sweet. It's crazy, isn't it? Big operator mat. All right, I'm gonna be driving the dozer. One thing I'm not very good at, particularly sometimes, 
is paying attention to directions. Uh oh. Okay, so now we're out of park. Wow. Okay. Uh, my boy Matt is excited right now, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, seriously. This thing is so cool. Like, it, it honestly, unless you're an operator working construction, the opportunity to drive a piece of equipment like this, it just doesn't happen often. Yeah, one of the most yeah. fun things I've done in a very long time. Yeah, supercars are cool. This is also, in my opinion, maybe more cool. Yeah. basically just runs itself. I don't know what else to say about it. It's just kind of wild. Dozer Matt, what do you think? That's super fun and very satisfying. Yep. Once you know what it's gonna do, it literally drives itself. Yep. And I mean, the bit you did there, you got a great result. Yeah. Considering, you know, basically no dozer experience, right? Just jump in this sucker. Yeah doing wonderful work. And literally all you have to do, you got forward and reverse and a brake. Yeah. When the GPS is going and it's automatic mode, you don't even need to use your hands. Yeah. Not really. It's cool. All right. Well, Steve is up in there now getting the run through. And then after he's done, it's basically up to us. We'll all have had our training. We're probably going to have to and do then, like hour long shifts or something. We got the So dozer. we all get a chance. Right. <laughs> What do you think? Hey, that might be the coolest thing I've ever driven. It's pretty much awesome, right? It's incredible. Yep. It feels so good to just control that much power. Yeah, some of those pushes you made over there were huge. It just giant I blade full. I believe it just kept going. Thing is an absolute monster. Awesome. I still cannot get over this dozer. This GPS tech is absolutely nuts. Look at this. He's about to plow over this big hill. The dozer knows the hill is there. So as he approaches it, it's just going to lift the blade, cut off the top, take just as much dirt as it can without getting stuck, without spinning out, without needing to manually manipulate it. I don't it looks like it's doing nothing because it's so smooth. Well, literally the thing just knows where the dirt is and adjusts for it. Well, sad sight for sure, but at the same time, look at that. Look at how smooth that is. That's just right after dozing. No finish work done yet at all. Incredible. Look at this. I tell you guys, this is so cool. See that red right there? The dozer knows right here that there's a whole bunch of dirt right in front of us. That big old pile just from driving over it, it knows it's higher. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bump this thing into gear and we're going to make a pass over it. It's going to adjust the blade as we go. So it can only cut just as much as it can. It doesn't get us stuck. Just absolutely awesome. Okay. We're out of park. We're out of park. Revving her up a bit. Okay, here we go. Slow her down. Just tell it to put the blade down. It's in auto. Look at this. I'm base. I'm hands free at this point. And it's just doing it. This thing is absolutely incredible. I'm literally not touching the controls. The dozer is just making this beautiful cut. Blown away. Look at that. Lifts the blade up so it doesn't dive in. Brings it right to grade. Back up and do it again. <laughs> oh, I got to pick the blade up. Let's go again here. Next cut. Tap it down. Go out a dozer. You got it. Just absolutely mowing through this hill. Look at that. 
Red's going away. It's starting to change colors. Pretty much like two more cuts and this hill is going to be gone though. She's chewing on that one. Taking a big old cut. I'll let it feather out a little bit further this time. Just tap that handle. She picks the blade right up. Take one more cut through this sucker. I hate to do this to our track, but man, is it badass. Well, the track is flat. Done a good job out here. It's kind of a sad thing, but it's cool that we were able to save it, you know? We've got the issue taken care of out here. We have our track saved digitally so we can recreate it, you know, somewhere else, maybe one day. Huge thanks, though, to AIS Equipment for helping us out. They loaned us this rental dozer. You know, we were in a bit of a tough spot. We were on a deadline to get all this done, so AIS came in big helped us out by loaning us this dozer and it just did a killer job super fast so if you guys are interested in something like that you need to do some work obviously this expense this equipment is really expensive so if you need to rent something hit up ais equipment we'll put their information down in the description below all right so i thought we'd finish this one off with a little history segment a little you know lesson on history u.s history the history of side by side blog you know, sometimes these things are connected in ways that might surprise you. So going back into the 1950s, right, a conflict breaks out in Vietnam. Everybody has heard of the Vietnam War. And for about the first 10 years, the United States just played an advisory role in that. But then, in 1965, we started sending troops to Vietnam. And also in 1965, the U.S. government awarded contracts to a little company at the time based right here in our hometown in Midland, Michigan to produce chemicals for that war. Things like napalm, things like Agent Orange, awarded right here in Midland, Michigan. And this is where U.S. history and side-by-side -side blog history start to come together in a way that I found interesting recently. So in 1966, this company founded this site that we stand on, that we own right now. In fact, in 1966, they started building facilities right out here on our open field. This is something we probably haven't talked about before. But on this land, there used to be a large facility. Multiple buildings, a parking lot, roads that ran all the way around here. And we've been told that in that facility, on this very site, they actually produced Agent Orange. Super interesting. Now, of course, you know, Agent Orange, it's, uh, it's a controversial thing, right? But it's still interesting from our perspective to, you know, own a piece of the land that's tied to U.S. history in that way. Now, before we bought the property, that entire site was demolished. So all the buildings that were out here, the parking lot, the roads, all gone. Um, but if you dig around a little bit, and kick your foot into the dirt, you actually still find remnants of that property. There's still artifacts around here. So, you know, cool stuff to look back on. Who would have ever thought that Side by Side Blog would end up owning a piece of property that had, you know, ties to such company ties to that war ties to chemicals used in that war you know we would have never known now i feel a little bit 
bad almost that we you know tried to ride side by sides out here on such historical grounds in a way sacred grounds in a way perhaps if I'd known that history earlier we wouldn't have tried to do that but we've now leveled the track we're returning everything back to the way it was to respect the land and uh, look forward to passing on this little piece of US history to the to the next owner you know we're off trying to find our new home our new adventure I don't know where that will be or exactly what that will be but uh, we'll keep you guys updated see you next time hope you enjoyed the little history lesson have a good weekend